Hey guys, Al2 here, 316 RC, and today I want to show you guys something, a uh, special unboxing that I've wanted to do for a while. I probably had this for, I don't know, maybe three or four months, so uh, I'm finally getting a chance to, uh, to open this thing up today, and because of that, let me flip you around here. BM5 all tore apart right there. Like I was saying, special unboxing today. We're going to get this uh, big box right here open and see what's inside. But um, up on the YouTube board, we got Boda Gel's channel. And there's a reason I have Boda Gel's channel up on the board today. is because it has something to do with this special unboxing. Boda Gel and I, we are Bowtie Brothers, and uh, this box has something to do with that, so I wanted to just shout him out here today, and uh, this is a special unboxing uh, dedicated to him, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get this thing opened up and see what we got. All right, here we go. Got my handy dandy little pocket knife. Staple on there. Go ahead and uh, guess I should have got an axe out to dedicate this to Boda Gel, but this is going to have to do. And the knife is not very sharp. I can tell you that. I better get this on the uh, sharpening stone. job on this. Let me go ahead and get this box out of the way. Get these pieces out here. Beautiful. This is the mid piece for a Dale Earnhardt dedicated custom painted body 1951-2001 for my 5T. Get these other pieces out here. I believe this is one of the back fenders. Back fender. Got your GM Good Wrench Service Plus right here. I believe this is the other fender. Yep, this is the other uh, fender. GM Good Wrench Service Plus. Put in here. I have a piece of these hood, I believe. Um, oh, for the hood, got the uh, got these fins that kind of go on the back uh, side of the roll cage. NASCAR Sprint Cup Series.
and uh, just leave us with the hood. Got the hood here. Custom painted hood. Goodyear Racing. GM. Good Wrench Service Racing. Yeah, I had this body custom painted for me by uh, on uh, eBay, Skin Jobs RC. Custom paints, uh, airbrushes bodies. So, um, I got a couple fingerprints on it, but I have a, uh, let's see, I have right here, I believe, yes. I got myself a 5T cage from 30 North. Gonna go ahead and, um, let me go ahead and get this body mounted up on this cage. And, uh, I'll, uh, buff it all up here and we'll take a look at the final, uh, what she looks like. But... Okie dokie, I'm back with the 30 degree North cage all put together. Ready for the Dale Earnhardt body. Real quick, I've said it time and time again, these things are just a must-have. You know, putting this cage together, I think would have took me definitely an hour, maybe longer, without this. So, uh... This was a huge help. I put this cage together in about 30 minutes using my Milwaukee. So, if you guys don't have one of these, highly recommend it. They're worth the money. And also, you know, these Milwaukees, you can set how much uh, screw torque, you know. And when I'm dealing with this plastic like this, I always set this for like two. And, you know, it runs the screw in just before it starts to get tight. And then, uh, then I stop it right there. Then I go back and I just kind of hand tighten all the screws for plastic. Metal the same way. I do the same thing. I only run a certain torque setting on this so it's not overly tight. And then I just go back and just, you know, hand tighten the, everything. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and get these pieces of the body installed. And we're going to see what she looks like. Grab one of these fenders here. Make sure where these fenders go. Like so here. Try to get those lined up. Okay. Nicely. I'm gonna, once I get all this together, I'm gonna polish it up real nice and then we'll uh, go ahead and have a, a good look at it. She's all done. Okay. There we 
go. Go ahead and put a couple down here to hold this down. I'm really loving this body. Really cool. here when you guys are putting these on I'm not sure you can see this or not but these pieces that go under the body they have a flat side and if you can see that and they got a side where the body post fits in this um, circular cutout so this is uh, this goes the body post in here, and then this side the body, and then this goes on top like that. Just like it at. Some of the holes just don't line up. You just have to shimmy the body around as best you can. thing I got to put on is our wings right here so I have to remove these two screws in the cage and attach these first screw started let's get the second one started here as well I'm gonna go ahead and put that little trim triangular piece on the other side. Then I'm gonna go over all these screws and hand tighten them. Make sure the fitment is, is good all around. Then I'll clean her up and then we'll get a good overview of the body. Be right back. All right, time to get this, uh, give it the weight glove treatment. Get some spray polish over here. There's my Baja, still need to complete that. Kind of uh, took a back seat here a little bit, but I will be finishing that. There's my 5T wax. Still got to get this baby unboxed one of these days. The version 2 of the Primal Monster Truck. Looking forward to that. Swing back over here and let's give her the white glove shine treatment. Spray this baby up, get all those fingerprints of mine off of there, get her all nice and shiny, and then we'll have a good look at it. Genuine GM Good Wrench. You guys remember that back in the day? GM Good Wrench. Shining up super nice. All right, and here she is, all shined up. Just beautiful. I just, uh, just am so pleased with how this body came out. Looks really awesome. So, uh, like I said earlier, big shout out to Botagel. Him and I were big bow tie buddies, and uh, I got me a commemorative custom painted. GM Goodrich Dale Earnhardt body. It's just beautiful, guys. I, it's just... The guy did a really good job. Good wrench. GM Good Wrench Service. Racing on the hood. Good gear racing. Swing around here. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. You know, I paid like... Uh, we got NASCAR Sprint Cup Series here on the back. On that little triangular wing piece. GM Good Wrench Service Plus. Remember that was a big uh, big deal back in the day. 
Uh, sorry if you guys are getting a little bit of glare. I can't tell if we're getting any glare or not because uh, this baby is so shiny right now after buffing it up. Swing around here. Back. Yeah, it's just, it's just uh, awesome. Big tribute to Dale Earnhardt here on the top of the roof. 1951 to 2001. Chevrolet, number three. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, like I was saying, I got this body. Found this guy on the... Uh, show you right here on the eBay. It's where I found him. Let's see if I can get a card here. Here we go. Type RC airbrush shop for RC bodies right there you can have his uh, there's his Facebook facebook.com skgrc it's like skin jobs RC eBay there you go there's his thing and on YouTube he has a YouTube channel skin jobs there's his phone number like I said I got this 5T body now the cage didn't come with it the body and the paint job I think cost me like 175 that's it that included the body so uh for that price pretty nice job pretty happy with it so uh yeah i'm uh flipping around here it's pretty awesome it's gonna look uh really cool on my uh 5t Almost so nice, I don't know if I want to even run it. Big shout out to you, Bo Gel. I know you got a Dale Earnhardt body. I see it in your in your videos in the background. So, uh, decided to get me, since I'm a big Chevrolet guy, got me a big uh, Dale Earnhardt body as well. So, hey guys, let me know, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any questions about it, you know, leave a, drop a note below. But, um, really cool. Really came out nice. So, uh, as a Boda Gel, well, I can't say it like he would say it, but, Zia! This is it, right here. If it ever the word, uh, deserved it, this is it right here. Really, really awesome. I really, uh, really love the, uh, the the paint job that was done on it so really happy all right till next time guys al2 here 316rc i'll see you on the next video so long